you know, I, I do have dick moments, uh, but you know, she thankfully is patient enough to understand that and we communicate really well together. I mean, how would you describe your partnership with Gabby? What are some of those biggest challenges that the two of you have faced so far in just these past couple weeks? I mean, we laugh about it and it's just like, you know, I'm repping the short kings. She calls me a short king. Uh, but yeah, I mean, first of all, our, our cha you know, we joke around about the, the height challenge, especially in the ballroom dances. Mm -hmm. As, as we've seen last night with Eric kind of having a little feature in our in our in our beanie's walls, my man is like six five. Yeah, he's tall. You know? Yeah, he's a tall, handsome stallion, and uh, feel like he's the average height of of every bachelor and bachelorette contestant. You know, it, it's funny when when two people come together. This 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 competition, this process is so crazy. I mean, it's that's why people love watching it because. You, you truly see two people kind of slowly become meshed into this one unit. And um, re regardless of who they are, you know, and obviously the more time they spend on the show, the more, you know, synergy they create, the more chemistry, camaraderie, whatever. But even physically, right? We talked about the physical challenge of our height. But slowly that height differential just starts to disappear. And I feel it even in our in our couple, you know, at first it felt a little lengthy and, you know, it was it was challenging for me because there's also an aesthetic that I enjoy in, in my dances. I enjoy being like significantly bigger in size. Uh, where here I just have to, you know, kind of carry myself as mm -hmm. that regardless. Uh, but you could feel it in the dancing, it's becoming much more uh, together and, I, and we could still create that that speed and power mm -hmm. uh, but other other than that really the challenge has been you know her schedule like she's mm -hmm. kind of wrapping up the bachelor the bachelorette rather so we missed two days last week uh which was kind of a challenge but um now uh, you know she's fully focused on the competition and i'm excited good any disagreements during rehearsal at all or is she a good student she's a great student yeah, she's a great student. Uh, that's it. She knows how to take direction. She doesn't take things personally, you know, and with me, I think that's like the biggest thing. I'm not, you know, I think I, there, there's a very, and I wouldn't say it's a thin line. I think it's a very clear difference between being hard and demanding and, and you know, demanding accountability when it comes to the work that we do on the show, mm -hmm. in regards with me at least. And being cruel, you know, and, and just being just being a dick. Like, you know, I, I try to not to venture into into being a dick as much as I can, you know. And there are moments when out of whether it's lack of at that moment preparation or lack of decisiveness or me questioning my own thing, you know, I, I do have dick moments. Uh, but you know, she thankfully is patient enough to understand that and we communicate really well together. You know, I, I, I'm the first to say that, that, you know, the patience that you want from me when it comes to teaching you how to dance and, and choreography, I, I, I would love the same patience back displayed to me when I have moments uh, of, of, you know, not, not, not my best moments. Uh, because, like I said, once those moments pass, I'll, I'll be the first to, to, you know, to make them right and apologize for. And she's been, like I said, she's been wonderful to work with. And, you know, I'm only as good as my partner. Mm -hmm. You think being a dad is going to soften you a little bit? I, I hope so. I mean, being a dog dad already softened me <laughs> tremendously. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you, you, you know, you, you get older and you change and, you know, I think I've always been fairly similar to to how I conduct myself, but definitely throughout the years, like I said, you you grow in in in, in your approach. You know, your perspective shifts and changes, and but it's good. You know, it's good to get into the grid of things as well. You know, it, it's important to buy into the show, and and you know, it's not kumbaya the entire time. I think it's important to have all of that the, the the full spectrum of experience the heartache the disappointment the the you know the tension all of that is good as long as it could be resolved in a in, you know i told her like if there's anything that you don't like you know this is a this is a safe space mm -hmm. you know you could always speak out and 
I'm at your service, truly. You know, I'm, I'm, I want her, you know, Gabby being her. <laughs> I want her to have the best season that, that she ever imagined for herself. She's a big fan of the show. So, you know, when people join the show and they're big fans, you know, I, I want it to be everything that they imagine it being for themselves. Uh, so whatever that is, my, my ego is, you know, secondary to, you know, the, the type of season that you want to have for yourself. Just, uh, you know, we have one rule, like, let's not be, let's not disrespect each other. Mm -hmm. And so the sooner, you know, as long as we're not disrespecting each other, you know, you could make fun of me all you want. <laughs> I, I'll be the first one to, to do so.